In other reports now, President Muhammad Buhari has reaffirmed his administration's commitments to provide the needs of Nigerians at the bottom level of the pyramid, this to move towards prosperity. He gave this assurance at the inauguration and handover of 70 units housing estate under the National Housing Program Phase 1 in Enugu. TVC News' Bamdile Ajayi has details. Federal Mortgage Bank 2021 housing data puts Nigerian housing deficit at 22.3%. A common knowledge of most housing projects exclude people in the lower ranks of society due to high cost of its acquisition. In an effort to fulfill some of his campaign promises, President Mohamed Buhari embarked on this housing project in 35 states, except Lagos. Oh, yeah. The project is designed to improve human condition and deliver dream home to low-income earners in society. The president was represented by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Geoffrey Onyama. Of course, the progressive ideals of our government seeks to achieve one primary objective, which is to improve the human condition. The general minister of works and housing explained the prevalent need of housing design in the north and south of the country with the aim to deliver acceptable houses for its intended owners. Today in Enugu State, at, at Ugo Onike Village, Enugu, we have completed and we are handing over 70 units of housing, housing comprising 6 units 1 bedroom, 24 units 2 bedroom, and 16 Units three bedroom bungalows. We therefore commend the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, for this laudable initiative to provide housing and accommodation for our teeming rural community. A former Super Eagles coach, Christian Chuku, benefited from the housing project Joffrey, as a mark of government redeeming its promise to the 1994 African Cup of Nations team 29 years after. I am most delighted to have taken full position of the semi-detached three bedroom. Yeah, Thank you, Mr. President, Ahmed yeah. Buhari. Thank you, Honorable Minister of Works and Housing. Minister of Foreign Affairs also donated two classroom blocks with six classrooms furnished with 15 double desks each to Hillside Primary School, Udi, in a good state. Wherever we can do anything, we, 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 we do it without discrimination. And I'm a firm believer in uh, education. And children have to get education. And that's the only way we can move forward in our country.